Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today, this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for, so please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you. That is okay. Pick up what does and drop the rest for someone else to pick up and appreciate. All right, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel. All right? I like how this little Palo Santo has a little... A little dip in it you see that it's adorable you put a little you can put a little finger in there <laughs> let me stop someone here could be smoking like a, a blunt or something or a J. I i don't know what they call it these days mm. i don't i don't partake in the in the smoking of the flower i eat it i'm uh oh i'd rather eat it okay anyways let me get into this um, listen, y'all, I felt really called to do, um, that message last night. That's something I normally don't do. So I feel like, okay, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the last message that I uploaded or the last video I uploaded. Um, I feel like in the energy, it's like, a lot of you are going, a lot of you are going to be doing things that you normally don't do, or you normally, like, um, that's normally not in your routine or something. There's something here about breaking out of a pattern, breaking out of a, a routine, okay? Um, 808 could be of significance, or 818 could be of significance. Some of you from could be from Los Angeles, because 818 is like a Los Angeles uh, area code. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Or you guys could be seeing a lot of eights, like 888, 88. All right. Okay, so I got a lot of downloads. <clears throat> I don't know where to begin, really. Let's start off with the flower. Okay, so I've been seeing a lot of daffodils. For some of you, um... You need to be working with flowers, flower essence. Um, maybe you guys need to bring flowers, like fresh flowers into your home at this time in order to um, change the energy, the flow of your home or your office or something. Something about fresh flowers or the power of flowers is very significant at this time maybe this is going to be something that's going to help you attract more um beauty more um positive things in your life growth i don't know something child or whoever i'm speaking to you are blossoming you're blossoming into the person you're meant to be let me see what this is oh it's 515 right now so that could be significant. I was just going to say something about the, the angel number 511 um, because I've been seeing that number a lot. But let's um, let's dive into the daffodil thing. Daff, daffodil, daffodil. So these, the flower daffodil, it represents rebirth and new beginnings. That is wild. It says daffodils are one of the first flowers to bloom in the spring. Wow. Okay. Marking the end of winter and the beginning of spring. Okay. Daffodils also um, represent hope. They emerge after a cold winter bringing life and greenery. Daffodils represent resilience. They are strong plants that survive the winter and bloom when the days get longer. They also represent good luck and prosperity. It says in China, daffodils bloom around the Chinese New Year and are believed to symbolize luck, prosperity, and good fortune. We also have creativity, energy, and vitality. 
it says daffodils daffodils may symbolize creativity energy okay and then it says purity and innocence it says white daffodils are signs of purity and innocence and are often used during easter and lent to represent the holy spirit so there the whole you've got you guys are you got the spirit in you okay you got the holy spirit within you child the holy spirit is helping you right now is all around you or you need to call upon the holy spirit so that you guys can attract this energy and the hope good luck and um, prosperity creativity purity innocence all that jazz that is wild the crazy thing though i've been seeing a lot of yellow daffodils maybe that's a maybe it plays a difference or maybe the color yellow is significant something here about um your courage your bravery your creativity could be um you could be experiencing an uptake in that all right or your confidence you could be realizing or noticing that your confidence is more um let me see it says they are positive life a firming symbol with a bright yellow color daffodils bloom each spring to light up barren landscapes with their cheerful yellow orange and white flowers it's the same thing so something about that is of significance um let's look up the angel number 511 okay um another thing that i was picking up Okay, so if you are a light worker, a healer of sorts, someone who is sport spiritually, I was about to say sports. <laughs> Erase that. <laughs> if you're someone here who is spiritually enlightened of any sort, okay? And you have experienced a lot of spiritual warfare, right? It was to help it was to help you to uh, make you stronger and to be more resilient because you were handpicked by the divine for a special role okay because when shit hits the fan you're gonna be the one prepared you're gonna be the one calm while everyone is losing their shit okay um so don't feel like what you have been going through currently or that you have been through, um, don't feel like it's a waste because it's not a waste, okay? Let's look at this 511. Everything will all make sense in the end, okay? says angel number 511 is an important message from your angels to do what uh, to do with auspicious changes and new beginnings in your life these changes have come about through your intent your intentions and your actions to better your life and incorporate more what did you say hold on child more spiritual uh, to incorporate a more spiritual approach sorry it says the angels encourage you to to, bruh, to make those changes as pure your soul's promptings and intuitive urges okay 511 suggests that some karmic life changes are ahead of you or are occurring in your life right now your angels want you to remain courageous positive throughout these transitions they support and surround you with love and healing Wow. It says when the angel number 511 appears repeatedly, it is a message that your intentions are manifesting rapidly. Wow. Therefore, keep your thoughts and focus positive and optimistic. Maintain a positive attitude about the changes happening in your life. Old and negative habits, patterns, and beliefs are being replaced with new. Wow. Okay. It says more positive ones, and this attracts. Oh, wait, yeah, with new and more positive ones. And this attracts and manifests future positive energies and opportunities for you. Relax and go with the flow. That's what you're being asked to do, okay? Relax and go with the flow, baby boo. Okay? 
all right another thing that i was getting um you need to protect your energy at all costs child limit your your interaction with individuals that you know are sus or that you have you already know is sus does that make sense you suspect is sus <laughs> or if you already know is sus all right um there's something here about like be careful of who you exchange energy with at this time um especially be cautious with people who are like demanding your attention or are coming towards you with a very um urgent desperate manner okay uh Like, if someone's trying to, like, demand something out of you or um, trying to rush you to do something for them or with them, I would probably stay away from this person. Especially if you don't deem... You don't deem it urgent or... I don't know. Something about that. So. Okay, so maybe this is going back to uh, that one thing that I picked up in the other reading. Somebody here might come to you acting like they're in a, a crisis situation, but they're not. Okay, this person is might do this in order to try to set you up. Okay, so just be mindful. Also, um, <laughs> there's somebody here that wants you to give up your life purpose for some sausage or some clam. Let me repeat that. You got somebody out here that wants you to throw away your life purpose for a dingling or a vajayjay. Okay? Keep your pants buttoned up. Okay? You got lust demons everywhere. I'm also getting like the devil is running out of fucking ideas on how to get you, okay? Um, you guys could be seeing 1221 a lot. Mm. Also, I keep picking up like somebody's gonna be woken up out of their sleep by an earthquake, okay? I don't know. Or somebody here is at night feeling like their bed is shaking okay this maybe that's just a confirmation i'm also getting like someone is about to have some sort of public freak out <laughs> episode okay i don't know something like that is gonna be happening listen i don't know about y'all but like I may be alone in this. I'm not sure, but I'm going to say it anyway. Lately, I've been I've been praying to God and apologizing for humanity. Like seriously, I've been apologizing to God for the human race. Like, apologizing for their stupidity and their wickedness. It's like so... It needs to change. Things need to change. <sighs> Let's see what's going on in the energy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need to hear at this time? Yeah, somebody here could be afraid that they about to get stung. <laughs> Someone's afraid there's something coming after them, okay? Somebody here could also be very much curious about you, so you might hear some hear from somebody soon. This person could be depressed. Or you guys could be dealing with somebody who is depressed, okay? Or some of you might need to... um check up on your people okay people that you have in your life that you trust and you care about okay 
check up on them because you might be you might be um there could be somebody that's hiding their depression or something and maybe they just need to talk like maybe you reaching out might help this person get out of a dark um mindset or something that's where some of you not all got Or this is one of your karmics, okay? It could be both, but this could be one of your karmics as well that is depressed and afraid of what's to come for them, okay? You're being asked to remain playful, okay? I'm also getting you being this lighthearted mood is making someone fucking nervous, child. Someone here knows they're gonna be embarrassed, okay? I'm also getting there was some sort of plot or plan to embarrass you, and I feel like this person realized it ain't working. So they're disappointed that some sort of plot to embarrass you did not work, okay? Um, this person's also nervous and scared because you remain to be calm. They don't like how calm you are. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be gray rocking a narcissist, and now they're bored. Good. This is what you're supposed to do with narcissists when would gray rock them don't give them reactions because then they get bored of you and they move on to their next victim okay we got serious somebody knows you're serious about something maybe they know you're serious about no longer speaking to them okay or not allowing them back into your energy okay you somebody somebody also could be mad because your life is I don't know, maybe you like what you got going on in your world. You could be satisfied with what you got going on right now. And someone here doesn't like that. Maybe somebody knows that they need to be more serious about something. I don't know. But there is someone here who's very much in love with you. And they could also be ashamed. Maybe the person who's now in love with you, okay, is someone who doubted you or didn't take you serious in the past. Whatever it is. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Um, this could be family, lover, business, friends that are feeling this way. It doesn't have to just be a romantic sense, okay? So please keep that in mind. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is going on? What do they need to hear? What do they need to hear at this time? You guys could be seeing a lot of kitty cats. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? I miss my cat. If you guys don't know, my cat ran away. For those who are new to the channel, I made a whole video about me taking an L because my I let my cat... I thought I could be a cat trainer and it didn't work, <laughs> basically. Um, but yeah, my cat is gone. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? So please stop asking me about my cat. It's annoying. Thank you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need to hear? Yeah, we got balance. Things are coming into balance for you. All right, you guys could be seeing 11, 11 a lot. If so, whoever I'm speaking to, if you're seeing 11, 11 right now, you got, you're in a fucking manifestation fucking uh frequency so be mindful of your thoughts okay we have shadow because to me personally when i see 11 11 this is this doesn't mean this is what it means for everyone okay so before people get crazy in the comments but when i see 11 11 like repeatedly like <sighs> to me it makes me feel like it's a portal that is is letting me know it's like the universe is letting me know there's a portal available for me if i would like to use it okay to manifest that's what it means to me someone here could be born november 18th someone here um someone here could be a scorpio is that scorpio or sag i'm not sure but someone here is definitely balancing out their shadow okay is what I feel like is going on. A lot of us are kind of um, doing spring cleaning when it comes to um, baggage, bur emotional baggage is what I feel like is going on. Like we're we're going into the old the old bag of 
emotional mishaps and we're we're just cleaning it out and taking out what no longer belongs there don't need to be there kind of situation okay that's what i feel like is going on for a lot of people we have emotional loss okay some of you might be feeling a little down maybe you're feeling a little depressed that's for some of you not only y'all okay i'm just gonna put that out there um somebody here could be born may 18th or may 11th Ooh, we got temptation at the bottom of the deck, number 15. Okay, so... Somebody's thoughts could be very obsessive right now. But, like, the, thought, the thoughts could be kind of negative. For some of you, you could be feeling, like, projections that other people... Like, you're picking up on what people are projecting onto you, okay? So don't be mindful of that, okay? For some of you, you guys could just be starting to become... <laughs> you guys might find yourself becoming obsessed with certain things like like um, certain interests or hobbies, okay? Or outlets is what I feel like is going on. Yikes. Okay, so we have temptation and we have the heart chakra. April 15th could have been of significance. What's today? So yesterday... Something about yesterday. Maybe someone's birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday, Aries. It's almost like whoever I'm speaking to, somebody wants you to... Like I said before, someone wants to tempt you. Someone wants to... Uh, somebody wants to get, get inside your pants. Don't, don't fuck up your goddamn, your growth. Whoever, you need to hear this. Don't mess up your growth, okay? Some of you could be feeling like, okay, so there's somebody here that knows that we're going through this whole purging situation, right? We got, we're in Mercury Retrograde. There's a lot of like nostalgic memories coming through. Um, Somebody wants to like, uh, capitalize off that is what i feel like is going on when it comes to you so just don't <sighs> i know you're smart okay let me see what the hell is going on somebody's of asian descent you could be asian somebody's asian Okay, someone's name is Tamara or Tamar. So there's something about tamales. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, why do we have this? Why do we have balance? What is this about? Resilience. So, listen, you are very much resilient. Okay, that's why, or you need to stay resilient. Stay balanced and resilient. Okay? Someone here is trying to put love spells on you. Like I said, somebody wants to come in and sexually tempt you. Someone is, somebody knows that your heart chakra is open. It is balanced. Somebody knows that you're in your feels basically right now. Everyone really is. You know, either we're angry, that's still being in your feels. Um, we could be irritated, frustrated, that's in your feels. You could be a little sad, thinking about old things. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I'm also getting like somebody wants you to harp on memories about them. Okay, this could be an ex or this could be a narcissist or someone who has a lot of toxic traits that you cut off. This person wants you to think about them. That's why this person is doing love spells. Also, this person knows that you could be in a manifestation frequency at this time and they want you to think about them so that you can manifest them into your life do not do that okay holy spirit holy angels why do we got shadow so someone's using you your magical ass against itself so just be mindful of that yeah listen we got good news here and right as i said good news this card flipped over the devil in reverse child 
So, okay, <laughs> you're being freed. You working on doing the, 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 doing the proper shadow work, whoever I'm speaking to, you doing the proper shadow work, you taking a hard, good look at yourself and being honest, okay, about what you got going on, what you need to heal, what you need to face, what, whatever triggers you need to handle, okay? This is, this is why you're going to be getting some sort of good news. This is why you're going to be having a lot of doors open for you is what I feel like is going on. Okay. This is good news. I also feel like there's somebody here that wants to keep some sort of good news that is for you in the dark. All right. Something about a crime could be of significance. There could have been a crime that was made against you in the dark. This could have been a hater that was involved in this. I'm also getting there's a hater here that is uh, either feeling lost without you or is feeling your loss, your absence. Okay? Remember, this is a hater. They be, This hater could be going through some sort of changes. Maybe their heart chakra is opening or they're starting to feel things. Okay? This is someone who cannot be trusted. So just be mindful of that. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is going on? These messages are just repeating. You got someone from the past trying to come back. Can't trust them. Okay. Some of you need constant reminders because you have a big heart. You're someone with a big heart. So it's, it's like I've said before, it's one thing to... Be by yourself in your own energy and say to yourself, I'm not going to allow X, Y, and Z to happen. I'm not going to pick up that phone. I'm not going to answer that text. I'm not going to write back on that email, whatever it is. Okay. It's, it's, it's one thing to, you know, do it when you're alone. Okay. But when that person's energy comes towards you, it's a whole nother story. Okay. Okay. And the reason why it's hard when that person is there is because you have a karmic contract with these motherfuckers, okay? <sighs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who is this person that can't be trusted? This person could be an Aquarius that's your hater or I'm speaking to an Aquarius, okay? Flip it where it needs to go. This is someone who cannot be trusted. This is someone here who does not want you to complete some sort of healing journey you're on. This is someone here that doesn't want you to shine, this is someone here that doesn't like your faith. This is someone here that does not like your hope that you have within yourself. Someone wants to kill your hope. This is someone who cannot be trusted. Tell me more, spirit. <clears throat> I'm also getting like, this person hates on your humanitarianism or something. Someone wants you to stop doing what you do. We got twin flame here. You and somebody else are about to, you and your twin flame are about to reunite. Okay. I'm also getting there's a hater here that does not want you to be with your twin flame. Or this this hater is knows your twin flame or is connected to your twin flame somehow. You guys could be seeing the number 28 a lot. Someone here could be 28 years old. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rabbit. Note the date. This could be your uh, Chinese zodiac sign or somebody else's. All right. But there's someone here that, that definitely cannot be trusted. All right. The person who has the Chinese zodiac sign of the monkey, this could be somebody who cannot be trusted, okay? Or this, if this is your Chinese zodiac sign, there's someone here who's a hater around you that cannot be trusted, okay? Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rooster. Note the date. This could be your Chinese zodiac sign or this haters or the person that cannot be trusted, all right? Flip it where it needs to go. I'm also getting like, if you do end up trusting this person, everything that you've been hoping for is going to be lost. Just let me you know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, why do we have temptation? Ooh, untouchable. Oh, that, could, that could go a couple ways. And then we have not serious, and then the serious card came out. So, 
For whoever I'm speaking to, one person is serious about something while someone else is not. So you and another person are not on the same page. There's something here about polarity. You and another person are polar opposites of some sort. Or your guys, this could even just be your mindsets or your, how, how you handle life. One of you could be more serious about how you handle life and the other one ain't. Okay? Or one person is serious about like following the rules and someone else is not. Something like that is going on. One person cares about their body and their health. The other one does not care. <laughs> like something, something, it's not a match. Something about it is not a match. There's somebody here that may not be taking things serious and they feel like nothing bad is going to happen to them. Okay, this could be someone here who's operating out of devil energy. So this could be someone here who's even mocking God or this could be somebody here who um, is trying to prove there isn't one by doing some weird shit and thinking they they getting away with it that's another thing that i'm getting so that's a little gross a lot of gross holy spirit holy angels what the hell going on wait yeah yeah somebody wants you to open up somebody wants you to get emotional or somebody wants to use your emotions against you okay I'm also getting whoever I'm speaking to. <clears throat> you guys could be saying 111, but also like somebody misses your loyalty or someone knows that you are very loyal to them. Okay. Someone sees you as good news. I don't know. And maybe there's a hater that does not like that someone sees you as a good as good news. Someone here may dislike the fact that you appear balanced or resilient. Okay, maybe someone feels like, um, maybe somebody here is going to try to make you open up even more than, I don't know, something about this is weird. Okay, so, okay, so you see how, like, it's the, I don't even know what you call this, the shell, the clanch, I don't know, the shell and then the pearl inside, it's kind of giving me, like, like, like how a cancer is, like, um, like a crab, hard on the outside, but soft on the inside, there's something here about, like, your demeanor okay like someone wants to crack you open someone wants you to be vulnerable somebody wants you to be like i don't know but the, the, this person's intentions to do this is not for your best interest it's for their own selfish needs so just be cautious of that okay someone here might try to like give you a sob story or <sighs> lord have mercy we got, oh my lord. Okay, so we have book book burning, censors, sense, let me calm down. Censorship. There's someone here that wants to censor what you say. Someone here wants to silence you. This is some, these are people who want to be kept hidden. These are people who don't want to heal. These are people that don't want things to change. These are, these are, uh, I don't know why I just heard Catholic, mm. Let me, mm. They want you to shut the fuck up. Those who are losing power don't want to lose power. But they know their time is now for that power to be lost. And they're not going to give a, give it up without a fight is what I'm getting. So we got the dark versus the light, the old versus the new. O old earth against new earth. I don't know. I'm also getting like there's someone here who's operating out of their shadow side that wants to change the narrative about who you are as a person. Somebody here wants to say the fact somebody here could be trying to say that or trying to force you to open up. OK, or like share things about yourself because someone here could be saying like, oh, so and so is hiding things or so and so is. Um, I don't know. Some, someone is trying to say something that you're not basically. I'm also getting like there was someone here who hired a practitioner to like rewrite your destiny or rewrite something here for you. Someone wants to like rewrite your story. Someone's 
someone's trying to limit, or someone's going to trying to, someone is going to attempt to try to limit your freedom. Okay. There's something here about discord. There's somebody here who works for the darkness that is trying to create discord, silencing, and censorship when it comes to those who are helping people free themselves. There's somebody here who wants who wants to continue to play mind games with people or have control o over the the masses minds. Okay, for instance, if you're someone here who's on a public platform and you speak some sort of truth, it doesn't matter what it is. Say you speak about your own opinions when it comes to politics or you speak your own opinion about, I don't know, animal rights, I don't, I, environmental issues, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, there's organizations here that are currently in power that are losing power that don't want you to keep talking. They could... They could be attempting to cancel you or dis or try to destroy it from the inside. The industry in the inside from the inside. I don't know. Let me just <laughs> keep going. What do we got emotional loss? Something about that. I don't want to have too much in there because I don't want to get in We got emerald. Okay. Some of you could be a Taurus. Or someone's hating on the Taurus. Or someone's upset about your maturity, your balance, okay? Someone's upset about how you the love energy you have just is free-flowing. Someone here could be upset that you you have a healing aura, all right? Somebody missing, somebody's missing your healing aura as well. Someone's also missing um, what your energy brought to them abundantly. They don't they they no longer have this. Whoever this person is, they no longer have this emerald energy anymore. Okay, now I'm also getting something about like Wizard of Oz, the Emerald Palace. Is that what they called it? Someone can no longer step inside the palace no more and they sad about it. Okay, someone here could be upset about your humility. Okay, or or the fact that you have like, um, you're, you're sexy or something. Okay, we got sexuality on here. I don't know. Or someone here is upset about your sexuality. Maybe somebody who doesn't, somebody wants you to be attracted to something that you're not. That's another thing that I'm getting. You're somebody here who's very rare. You could be someone who's very peaceful at this time. Also, a hater is upset because you're going through some sort of soul restoration. So your, your soul is being restored. So, okay, so you know how like we... Well, for some of you, some of you guys believe in reincarnation when it comes to our souls and stuff. Um, whatever happened in your past life, right? Or your past lives. Whatever's happening right now, I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you have paid off debt from past lives of shit that you didn't do correctly. And that's why you had to go through so much shit, okay? But now that your soul is restoring, <laughs> you got people who are contracted to make that not happen, and it's already happening. I don't, that's for some of you, not all y'all. Some of you could be wearing an emerald ring or an emerald piece of jewelry. Must be nice, because that shit's fucking expensive. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me? Can you tell me more? Something's about to take off. Someone here is about to take off or take take flight. Or someone's heart is calling someone to come towards you. This 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 could be somebody that you do want to come towards you. And there's a hater that knows that somebody's heart is burning for you. And they are so upset about this. Okay? Maybe this person lives at a distance from you. Maybe you are in a long-term relate or long distance relationship with someone or a long term whatever okay someone wants to be free someone sees that you're free and they want to go where that's where that at where that at that's where they want to go okay what do we have temptation
<sighs> White rabbit. So rabbits are out here twice. So that's significant. Someone is definitely going through some sort of spiritual awakening. Okay, we have it's time, heeding the call. Someone is deciding to do some sort of research here. They're gaining some sort of knowledge or they're they're having some sort of inner knowing now about something. Someone's coming from the dark to the light. So there's somebody here that was once in, uh, had some sort of um, devilish attachment and they no longer do. Someone is being released or this is you. You're being released. Flip it where it needs to go. I'm also getting something about jealousy. Something something about maybe someone here was jealous of you. This could have been this could have even been your twin flame for some of you. Your twin flame could have been hating on you. And now they no longer want to hate on you because they're they're coming from dark to light. Okay? They went down the rabbit hole. They they are they are now enlightened about something. Or they're waking up from some sort of spell that could have been placed on them. That's another thing that I'm getting. Um, maybe your twin flame was with somebody who put a love spell on them. And now that's, that spell has broken. Okay. And now they're seeing something clearly. Um, someone knows that they're running out of time. Someone's going to catch a flight or something, child. I don't know. Someone's hoping that you still want to be with them that's another thing that i'm getting something about this matrimony is holy okay <laughs> i don't know what that means okay someone misses your kind heart somebody misses your fun your funness i guess okay so that's another thing too maybe with the polar opposites with your maybe for your twin flame or your person you could be someone who's more serious and the other person is more like an extrovert. Like the life of the party, goofy, silly, or something. Or vice versa. Flip it where it needs to go, child. I don't know. Something about sapphires are of significance for some of you. Blue sapphires. Now I'm getting something about the Titanic. Someone's name could be Rose. Someone's name could be Jack. Maybe someone's going to be coming towards you with a with a with a necklace or something. I don't know, child. Somebody mastered something though. I don't know. Let me use Ooh, I don't know which one to use. Let me use these. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need to hire? I'm also getting... Okay, there could be somebody that you haven't spoken to in a long time that might re-enter your life. This person actually may be somebody who's good for you, okay? You may not take what this person is saying to you serious at first. You may think like you're not being serious like this person might come in and be like hey i've always loved you blah 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 blah. i don't know whatever this is you're you may not believe this person you might be like okay uh-huh keep talking like keep speaking out your ass or something i don't know why i feel this way holy spirit holy angels what's going on what's happening so we got romantic love affair sex fix sex lover an F buddy. So there's somebody here. This could be the hater that's upset. Okay. That they could know they're no longer gonna have their F buddy. Okay, that's for some of you, not all y'all. Or this is a this is a sexy a sexy. This is a sex. Oh my god. This is a secret lover for some of you, okay? That wants to be with you. They want more than just the sexual times, I guess. I don't know. Nope. Somebody catching a case, child. <laughs> Somebody catching the case. You hear that, Carlon? Somebody's catching the case. Someone caught a case. Is what they did. We got balance. It says, leave the situation or person. It's time to leave it all behind. It says, leaving fast, wrapping it up. So somebody's bouncing from, an, from a situation, okay? Someone here was dealing with somebody sexually, and they caught, a, they caught a disease or something from them. And after that happened, they fucking bounced. 
or someone is about to find out that they have something and they're going to leave this person because i feel like wherever this person is getting the disease okay so for instance there's a person sleeping with another person one of the people slept with another person outside of this union okay this person is discovering that this person slept with another person with something and then this person slept with this person and gave it to them and now this person's like i'm leaving your ass bye okay that's what i get from this and someone's hating someone's hating yeah we got bay it says before anyone else somebody wants to call you bay somebody wants to make you their bay before anyone else can I don't know why I'm getting something about Bonnie and Clyde. I'm also getting like with this card, it's giving me Lana Del Rey for some reason. Blue Jeans, the song Blue Jeans by Lana Del Rey. He was like, James Dean, for sure. Dun 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 made it all work. But he headed out on Sunday, said he'd be home on Monday. I forget. <laughs> Something like that. Cause I always. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't know. Tell me more. Someone's been longing for you for a long ass time, Joe. Someone here has been keeping tabs on you. This is a player, though. With outdated thinking. A player with outdated thinking. Is watching you. They want to bounce from a certain individual. There's a player here that has a sex addiction and they're not willing to change. They're resisting changing their behavior. They want to stay dark? I don't know. I can't tell who's what, child. Yeah, somebody wants to bounce with... They want to leave somebody that they're with to go to you because you look like the new shiny object. You could be... You could have experienced a, 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 some sort of glow up here, some sort of major transformation someone this is what someone's seeing when they're stalking you this is someone who's a coward though so this could have been somebody here that wasn't allowing <clears throat> they weren't allowing them to feel how they really felt about you in the past this person has been keeping this their feelings about you how they feel about you to themselves this person is deciding to come in okay because they want some sort of victory with you they're deciding to come in and be honest they're deciding they want to be honest about how they feel now. I don't know. It says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. And then right after that card, we have destiny. So I don't know. Something here is fated to happen, but that doesn't mean you're fated to be with this person. So just keep that in mind. We have moving on. Some of you might move on from this person or you've already moved on emotionally, mentally physically from this person and um maybe that's why there's a temptation coming in maybe this is why it's a temptation yikes maybe this is somebody that you manifested or wanted to come back to you in the past and now the person's coming but it's like now it's like you may not even want this we got viral something is about to go viral or there's like um, word on the street going around that this person wants you back. I want you back. I want you, want you back. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm getting. Somebody, Somebody's realizing. I'm also getting somebody here just wants to come back and make you bay. Because they know that um, other people are going to want you too. Okay, especially if you work on social media, this is for some of you, not all y'all, or um, 
you're in the spotlight of some sort. Someone, somebody knows that there's going to be people that are going to want to put in their love offer to you, and this person wants to beat them to the punch. This is someone who's bankrupt spiritually or financially, so keep that in mind. So yeah, this is a no. Yikes. Wait for your twin flame is what I feel like you need to do. Okay. We have karmic friends. It says can't fully trust them. Tension, secret competition. This person could have friends around them that is hating on you or is hating on the fact that this person wants to come back to you. Okay. Or this. Okay. If this, because this story could be multiple ways. If this is in fact your twin flame that's coming back, you guys are going to be reunited. This is a message for those who've already met their twin flame. Okay. There was a friend that your twin flame listened to, okay? Okay, this this friend was a friend that they could not trust, but they listened to them anyway about their opinion about you. Now, this person, your twin flame, they have, maybe they found out that that same friend that was warning them about you is the same person that slept and gave an STD to the person that they're currently with or was with. That's for some of you, not all y'all. I'm also getting there's a karmic friend that your twin flame may have confided in when it came to how they felt about you and this karmic friend of theirs that's in competition with them could have told them that you have an STD or could have told them that you slept with them in order to put a wedge between you and your person. That's another thing that I'm getting. Maybe this person is waking up and realizing their friend is a liar. We have can't even. Or for some of you, this is a karmic twin flame or a false flame or just a dumb ex that wants to come back because they broke. They're still gonna have. They're still gonna sleep with other people because this person's a player. This person plays a lot of mind games. They like to play with people's feelings as well. So, I don't know. Someone here can't understand how you are experiencing this blow up, or this blow up. This <laughs> someone's about to blow up. Someone can't understand why you're 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 going through this glow up. Someone doesn't understand how you changed. Someone doesn't understand how you just keep looking more attractive. Okay, you aging. Someone here could be aging like um, fine wine, and someone doesn't understand how this is possible. I'm also getting someone didn't never expected you to bounce back from the heartache and the pain and the and the traumatic thing that they put you through. Okay, they thought they thought they left you as unwanted goods or something but but no we got a nightmare someone's worst nightmare is happening somebody's worst nightmare is to see you move on to somebody who truly loves you this person's worst nightmare is um having to deal with their own demons facing their own demons that's another thing that i'm getting to or the demon that they have to constantly feed. They don't want to have to um, face it or something. Someone, something about travel, okay? Someone is trying to... This player is going to try to travel towards you. We got clout hungry. Mm -mm. It says, says anything, does anything, makes shit up dramatic. I don't like how this is going. Tell me more. Someone is experiencing bad karma. This is someone's bad karma to see you go through some sort of glow up to watch your life change in, in the best way possible. This is someone in their feelings. Man, I'm good. This person's in their feelings for sure. Let's find out what the f this means. Give me a second. Is this... <sighs> Where are those cards? No, no. No. I see these cards in my mind's eye and I want to use them, but I don't know 
where they're at. so wild. Where would they go? Oh well. Oh, this is going to bug me if I can't find them. Oh, wait a minute. Let me just move on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Why do we have this travel? Why do we have travel? There's an older man, a wise man, a teacher, someone strong, a father. There could be a father that wants to travel towards you and give you good news or something. 528 could be of significance. The, the, uh, the date... May 28th could be of significance. There's a boss? Someone's deciding to take action. To come travel towards you. Okay? Someone's hoping and wishing. Someone doesn't know what to expect. Something... This may be... Someone might be trying to plan to travel towards you in the next three months or... Something's going to happen in the next three months. What's up with this player? Yeah, this player wants to get together with you. They want to sleep with you. They're, they're feeling weak and they're sick right now. They feel like you're their retirement plan. They're experiencing a lot of blockages in their life, a lot of dead ends. Someone here could be always partying, going to clubs, hanging out with friends. This person wants to come in and steal something from you. I'm also getting like there's someone here, there's someone here that wants to come in before someone else will or can. I don't know, something like that. I'm so upset that I don't have those dang cards. Like, how not? Are they over here? Child, they're right here! Oh my lord. This is gonna drive me nuts. Let me just see something real quick. Okay, listen, you know how some people go off certain... <laughs> Someone here might um, jump off a bridge. Let me just say that. Someone might jump off a bridge. Because they, they, they're not going to be able to take seeing you move on and be happy. Or you have things change in a positive direction for you. Because th while they see you glow up or rise up, this person's life is going to be um, going down. Okay. 
this clarified the bad karma I'm also getting someone else's bad karma is to watch you re repair a bridge that was once broken between you and another person that you're supposed to be with that they thought that they destroyed for you okay Some of you are supposed to travel the world, whoever I'm speaking to, okay? Someone was trying to keep you confined. Somebody wanted to keep you limited, okay? There's something here about experiencing uh, or experiencing downloads when it comes to, like, something about crown chakra activations when you travel to different places with different cultures that is necessary for you to experience, Okay? when it comes to what you're supposed to do here for your life purpose that's another thing that i'm getting jesus um something about india someone needs to um, go to india or you or i'm speaking to someone from india yeah something about the gym someone's been stalking you at the gym or some of you might need to go to the gym okay no shade Listen, I don't like working out in front of people. <laughs> I don't. I just work out at my house. But, um, yeah. Or somebody is like, anytime they're at the gym, they think about you. They think about the good times that they experience with you. This could be someone that you um, used to go to the gym with or somebody you just know goes to the gym a lot. Like, they literally have a gym membership and they go to the gym, okay? Or maybe when you're at the gym, you start thinking about these things. There's someone that thinks, there's somebody that really wants to offer you to um, go get coffee with them or something. They want to re, they want to, I don't know. I'm over it. <laughs> Let me see, because I saw this one dick. I'm going to do this real quick and then we'll take out the shells, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need to hear? What's going on with this person? What does this person want to say to them? Because what, well, what does this player want to say? What is this about? It says, at that moment, I didn't care. So if this is someone here who cheated on you, slept with somebody else while you guys were together, got someone else pregnant while you guys were together, or said something nasty to you when you guys were departing or whatever, or when this person was angry, they're trying to tell you that in that moment they didn't care. But I feel like now this person is realizing they do. Maybe they're regretting something here. What else does this player want to say? We have, I love myself enough to walk away. Okay, so this could be something you're saying or vice versa, child. And then we have, you're so easy to see through. So, I don't know, maybe maybe this person doesn't like that you have the ability to see through them. And then we have, I fear that you will reject me at the bottom of the deck. So somebody here is afraid that you're going to reject them. Or maybe this person sees through you too or something. Like maybe you two have a, you and this player have like a telepathic communication vibe going on. This could be your own damn twin flame that was a player and now he don't want to be a player no more. I'm so tired of this, child. <laughs> Take him back to the kitchen and give me a new dish. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else? What else is this person? This person wants to say, don't, please don't block me. Someone wants you to, you have this person blocked, whoever this is. What does this person want to say? This person wants to say, I can't eat, sleep, or do anything. Because they're thinking about you. It says, I hide the love that I have for you. Someone hid how they felt about you. Now they feel like they need to come in and say it, though. Like, they're getting a, they're getting this burning desire within their heart to do so. We have karma is a bitch. This person is experiencing karma. Someone, this is someone here that withheld how they truly felt about you and was being dishonest. Okay? 
in order to play some weird mind game or in order to have some sort of power over you when it came to some sort of relationship dynamic. Somebody here could have been playing with your feelings and thought it was a game. You could have like switched up quick. You could have blocked this person so fast. This person did not see it coming. Now this person's like, oh my God, what do I do? Something like that, Joe. Who knows? Yeah, please don't block me. Came out again. Someone wants you to unblock them. We have, why are you so good to me? I don't deserve it. I don't know, child. By the way, Felipe, thank you for this uh, this deck. I love it. Let me see what else. <sighs> So you got a player that wants to come back. They're experiencing karma. Or this is just someone here who thought they could play you. Maybe they decided to go sleep with someone else and they instantly caught a case. Maybe this is someone you were dealing with that you weren't like having sex with. And they wanted to have sex with you and you said nah. Um, I don't know. Who knows what's going on? What's happening? <laughs> I can't. I'm not going to say it. We have, I think about you so much, it's scaring me. So somebody is heavily thinking about you a lot. It says, I am a learning a spiritual lesson. So somebody is learning a lesson when it comes to honesty and vulnerability. Okay. And doing the right thing. Maybe someone was like, they allowed pride to get in the way. Ooh. Or they just was scarred. Somebody was scarred. We have, I hope the future will bring us together. Somebody wants y'all to be back together. And then we have, I don't understand what this connection really is. Somebody knows something's up with y'all, but they don't know. They don't, they can't put their finger on it, I guess. I can't put my finger on this fucking read or this person, if you can trust them or not, child. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, should they trust this person? It says, wait and see what happens. <laughs> Listen, this energy of the unexpected keeps coming out, so... Whatever you think you know, you don't know. That's a, that's the vibe I'm getting. What you think you know right now, you may not know. It could be I don't know. There's like a certain detail that that you might become aware of, and it changes everything. I don't know. <laughs> Yikes! Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need to hear with the shells? What do they need to hear regarding this reading with the shells? What do they need to hear with the reading with the shells? Okay, someone's first, middle, or last name could start with an L, an A, an R, a D, <laughs> um, an F, a J, an H, a U, ah, an O, a G, a D. A B, an F again, an A, an M, an E, a K, a C. Someone could be cooking with lard. I don't know. Crisco. Someone's name could be Jared. Or Gerard. Someone's switching their mode. Someone's name could be Larry. Someone's name could be Candace. Someone's name could be Arden. There's something here about Adderall is of significance. Maybe someone here has ADHD or ADD. Someone's name could be uh, Liam, or somebody here feels like they're lame, or how they handled the situation was lame. I don't know. We have lame out here, or someone thinks that you think they're lame. I don't know. We got bad. Someone here could be very bad, or did something bad, or they're upset because they know they did something bad, or they know that something bad is happening. Someone is afraid that you're mad at them as well. Someone's name could be Madeline, or Madison. I just heard KTLA. Something about the news is of significance. Someone here 
And we got a bug here. We got the word bug. Something about bugs. You guys can be seeing a lot of bugs or something. Or someone here is on a lot of drugs. We got drug out here. Or something about a drug. Someone's name could be Leah. Mmm. El Ella? 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 <laughs> oh my god. So something about the drug. Because that's when I my ear went... Rrr. Okay. There's something here about a drug. Maybe there's someone here that now has to stay on a drug in order to combat something that they took. I don't know. Mm-hmm. We have home. Or somebody's gonna try to leave drugs in your home. Don't allow this person back in your life, child. We got home drug. Or somebody makes drugs at home. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Someone's trying to hide something under the rug or trying to uh, sweep something under the rug or they no longer can. Someone's name could be Doug. I'm also getting like someone's trying to dig up something, like dig up dirt on you, but they can't find it. This is another reason why somebody mad. Something about luggage. Something about taking a trip. I don't know. You might, you'll be glad to take this trip. I don't feel like it's with this person, I'll be honest. I don't think it's with this person. You better not because this doesn't look good. We got glad though. You can, you're about to be glad about something. But do what you want. I'm not your, I'm not your mama or your daddy, so. You could be someone who's focusing on the bag. We got bag out here. We got burgle bur, <laughs> burger. We got burglar. Someone here is trying to steal something from you. You got a thief on your hands, so be mindful. Someone has a grudge. They're holding a grudge. Because you're out here shining without them. They don't like this. Someone here could wear a lot of fur. Apple bottom jeans. Boots with the fur. With the fur. The whole club was staring at her. She hit the floor. She hit the floor. Next thing you know. Shawty got low, 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 low. <laughs> <laughs> something about rugrats someone here can have a lot of baby mamas and a lot of children i don't know who was reading this is because it ain't mine i'll tell you that um someone's name could be cal calvin Someone's name could be a Abba. Someone here could be from Arkansas, Washington, D.C., Georgia, Australia, Rhode Island. <sighs> Someone here could be from Columbia. Something about a lake. I don't know. Someone here could have a, a, a lake home. A lake a lake house? Home. <laughs> Someone here could live by a lake. We got a lake out here. Or something's gonna something's gonna turn out like Ricky Lake. Like someone just wants to create drama for you. Or someone might want to drug someone and wrap them in a rug and drop them in a lake. That's for some of you. Not all y'all. Someone has gout. Someone's name is Fred. Or Frank. Someone's name is Ian. Someone's name is Dale. Someone could be from Palmdale. We got Gail. Something about a flag, a red flag. Be aware of the red flags. Someone's name is Gordy. Gordon. Did I say that already? I think I did. Someone's a junior. Someone wears Keds shoes. Someone eats a lot of canned chili. 
something about somebody's daddy is out here or somebody is going to tell you that they're a dad or they're going to make an announcement that they're a father or a parent or something a, a freshly new parent or something um someone's name is like raffalo raffalo a ralph raffalo buffalo someone here could be from buffalo new york Someone here could work in a restaurant front of house. I'm ending it. I'm done. Someone's name is Craig. <sighs> what time is it? I gotta go. This is gonna be the end. This is the end, guys. Thank you for sticking with me. What do they need to hear, spirits? I'm new. <laughs> what is going on? It says, it may be difficult, but you will find value in it. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. We have Pisces. Something about your beliefs are going to change or something about your spirituality or your spiritual growth is of significance or whatever that's hidden is going to be revealed. It may be difficult for you to find out, but it will you will find value in it. I don't know. We got Leo. Something about a Leo could be of significance. Or you're a Leo. Ciao. What the hell is going on? What else do they need to hear, Spirit? What else do they need to hear so we can bounce? We have looking sharp. So whoever I'm speaking to, you looking good these days. Okay, we have she believed she could she worked her ass off and she did so some of you are about to accomplish something here Okay, you that you put a lot of work into a lot of time and effort blood sweat and tears We have best day ever. I don't know some of you is about to experience a bomb ass day Holy Spirit holy angels what else they need to hear We have 1616 readjustments it says your level of self-control is significant or no is su sufficient to make things right on the horizon is a possibility of beginning a new romantic or platonic friendship as well as a chance to begin life anew with a person from one's past damn everything will fall to pieces that's what the card says but i say places mm, there's something you don't know this is going to make you happy, I think. Some of you might change your guest dang mind. And maybe you're supposed to. I don't know. But uh, let it sink in for a little bit. It may not be the person that you think it is. Tell me more, spirit. We have 1331. Good fortune. It says, have faith in your skills and talents as they are a tool that can provide you with a bright future, a piece of good advice, a moment of enlightenment, or a comforting message is on its way. Everything will work out in your motherfucking favor, bitch. <laughs> what else they need to hear? This is fucking bomb. One more and then I gotta go. Tell me when to go. Okay, we got... 0110 belief system. I'm telling you, something. <laughs> this year is going to reveal a lot of truth, okay? You know how that card that comes out all the time with Big Bertha, which I didn't use? Well, I'll do another reading, but. Where it says, uh, what's bad is good is what. Uh, blah, what's bad is good and what is good is bad. Um. Something is something. There's a lot of illusions that are about to be. They're about those illusions, those clouds of delusions or illusions are going to be cleared away. Okay, this this could be like illusions about the Bible, Christianity, uh, stuff like that. Okay, the way the story was told may have not been the way it was supposed to be told or how God intended or 
stuff like that, okay? Um, it says, you're blessed with talents and skills that make it easy for you to stand out from the crowd. Embrace what makes you different. That's your path to success. Your dreams will soon come true, bish. Okay? And then we got 0440, the gut feeling. It says, follow your gut. It's more than just a feeling. Be real with people and focus on meaningful relationships. Remember, you also must bring value to the table. Treat others with respect or else karma will bite your ass. Three is a motherfucking crowd. So there's someone here that knows they're not happy where they're at. They want to come towards you or they want to whatever this is. That's for some of you, not all y'all. There's a blessing in disguise coming your way, child. So just keep your spirits high. Go with the flow. This is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you. Okay, bye. <laughs>